Excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room. What's up everybody, Roderick here with the Toner TC2030 USB microphone kit. Now a lot of YouTubers don't realize this, but your audio quality is just as important as your video quality. Bad audio and a great video makes the whole thing a bad video. I recently did unbox another Toner microphone, which I'm actually using right now, spoiler alert, and I've been very satisfied with it, and that one was a bit cheaper than this one, so this one I'm expecting to be amazing, because the cheaper one was great, I'm really looking forward to see how this one sounds. Because this is a USB microphone, you don't need to do anything special to get it to work you just plug it in the USB port and you're good to go plug and play simple easy straightforward to the point this microphone features a gold plated 24 millimeter large diaphragm a professional sound chipset with a sampling rate of 192 kilohertz and 24 bit noise reduction high fidelity sound and comes with all the accessories you need including an upgraded stand the box is looking good pretty weighty so I know there's quality inside let's get inside oh yeah we are ready we got an instruction manual Oh yes, they took everyone's advice this time. They didn't ball this up, so now we have a really nice looking windscreen. We have the clamp for the table. Ooh, a really beefy shock mount. Some Velcro. The mic stand arm, which actually does look a lot bigger than the other one. The pop filter the USB cable, and the microphone. It feels very solid and very high quality and looks really nice. Wow, just take a look at this grill. It's looking so good. I mean, I wish it was gold, but it still looks awesome. At least we have some toner branding in gold and the USB port on the bottom. Not much to see, very simple microphone here. Whoa. <laughs> Be careful, because I did not think this thing was spring-loaded and about to snap. Good thing it went that way, otherwise it would have hit me right in the face. But overall, this is a really nice arm here. I'm not sure why it did that. Wow, be careful, guys. All right, so let's see if we can get everything set up real quick. Let's loosen this up and get it on the table. Okay, looks like we got it pretty decent. Now let's get everything else set up. We got the shock mount. Let's get this screwed on. All right, we got it on nice and tight. Let's tighten it up. There we go. Now we can screw the microphone into place. Let's get the windscreen on top. All right, looking good. Now we got the USB cable. Let's get this thing connected. All right. Now we gotta plug it in and we're ready to go. You guys ready? We're gonna switch over to this microphone and see how it sounds. All right, you guys, you know how we do this. We got 100% raw, unedited audio right from the microphone, right to your ears. I want you guys to let me know what you guys think of it. Does it sound good? Does it sound clear? Does it sound crisp? Can you hear me really well? I'm really close. Now there's one thing I'm noticing about this microphone compared to the other toner microphone that I reviewed on this channel that I've been using up until now. There's no actual volume controls on the microphone itself, so you're gonna have to control all of that on your computer or whatever you happen to have it plugged into and then there's also no LED light so you know that it's functioning unless it's underneath of here now I don't see one but those are some things that I liked about it I liked having a little gain control on the actual microphone itself as well as the LED light so I could just glance over oh the LED lights on it must be recording everything's good to go I mean there was one thing I didn't like about having the volume control somebody could play with it or something and then I wouldn't know that the volume got changed and I wanted them to put a little LED screen so I could know the volume level that the microphone was at but I mean I guess it is what it is it's probably better to not have a volume control and control it all in the software instead so um, let's see I'm talking up close because we're about to do a podcast let's see today Hey, we're gonna be talking about Bigfoot. Do you guys believe in Bigfoot? Sasquatch. I think I've seen him before. I went camping one time on a trip. It was pretty crazy. And now I'm talking really loud, really close to the microphone. I'm sure it's blown out. It might not be. I don't know. It has noise cancellation and stuff. So, I mean, it's possible it sounds good. Now, let's see. Let's move it pretty far away from me. Let's see how far I can get this arm to go. All right. So, it's way up there. I'm way over here. I'm talking at a kind of elevated level and now I'm talking normally so like if you want to go hang out with me later that'll be cool because I don't have any friends but let's see I'm talking loud now I'm super hyped up let's get the party started guys Woo! Whoa, I got some echo in here. <laughs> All right, but well, let's see. I don't know. What do you guys think? How do you think the audio sounds? Remember, I'm just using that default, just plug and play, ready to go, start recording, and here we are. This is what we're doing. Oh, I don't know. I think this could be a good microphone as long as it sounds good i mean the quality and everything's good this arm i just got to get used to i mean it's really big compared to the other one like i have the other one sitting right here out of the shot like it's so small let's see it's basically it goes up to here it's almost fully extended and this one is almost the same height with just this one arm right here and then we have this whole long thing right here like seriously this one right here is perfect for podcasting if you have like some uh, i don't know why you would do this but if you want to share the microphone with someone else you can talk all right so let me know what you guys think do you think bigfoot is real let's move it on to mike over here <laughs> 
and then Mike starts talking over here, and there should be a cordioid, cordioid pattern or whatever. So when you talk to the back of the microphone, it has less audio. As we go around to the front, it starts traveling, and then it comes through the front. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm supposed to pick up the audio from this direction. That way, if there's stuff going on in the background over here, it doesn't pick it all up, and it's a lot quieter. That way, if you have cameras auto-focusing and whatnot, it won't be picking it up as much. But I'm just hoping this microphone's good. As long as I get used to this giant arm and can conceal it somewhere, that will be great. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. But I'm just hoping it sounds good. I mean, other than not having the volume controls, which I was a little iffy about, but I, you know, enjoyed it. But I never actually had to move it once I got it set, so I guess it's better to not have them, as long as it sounds good and you can get it working in well. But the LED light, I really like that, although the LED light, I guess, kinda could make it look on the cheaper side. No, wait a minute, I have added a more even my right. Yes, it depends if you want an LED light. I mean, that's cool status indicator light so you know that you're recording and you know that you're not just talking into nothing. Like right now, I'm not even sure if it's recording. Who knows? The microphone not, might not even be plugged in as far as I can tell, right? You know what? Let's take off the windscreen. Let's do a little test. We're going to do windscreen. I'm going to blow into it. I just blew into it and I'm doing some ASMR. Yeah, feel the tingles. All right, and then I'll take off the windscreen. And now I'm whispering into Okay, let's do some ASMR. Feel the tingles. Oh boy, it feels crazy, huh? I can feel it. Oh. But now let's talk about Bigfoot. All right, so talking without it, like it's weird. I'm not even listening to it and it felt different. I guess this little echo or something maybe. I can just feel the sound waves going through the microphone. Instead of going through this foam, which, I don't know, I like the way the foam looks. It looks cool, although the microphone looks cool by itself. But let me know what you guys think down below. You can get this for podcasting, streaming, YouTube, whatever you want. If you want to sing a song, sing a song, sing a song. <clears throat> well, that was embarrassing. Let me see if I can do a song real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room, and I gotta admit that you got my attention. You're making me wanna say yo. <laughs> Completely unedited, no auto tune. Do you think I sounded good? Do you think I got a singing career ahead of me? Let me know because this YouTube thing isn't working as planned. <laughs> But you guys, let me know what you think of the sound quality. Let me think if it sounds good. Let me know how it compares to the other microphone. I'll throw the link down below so you can check out how that one sounded so you can do a little comparison there. And let me know if you're going to pick one of these up and what you're going to use it for. Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.